Hi, I'm Mark, and today I'm going to be talking about building a more efficient crafting room. Now, why do you want an efficient crafting room? Well, the biggest reason is uh, efficiency. But also, it, uh, it speeds up crafting, brewing, enchanting, smelting, all of that, and uh, it keeps things organized. It's a lot less frustrating because you can find stuff, you can craft it right away, you don't have to be running back and forth too much. Um, but for me, I think the biggest reason is it, it looks good. Yeah, it looks really cool. Um, with the efficient crafting room, one of the keys is to plan for it from the beginning. Know what you want and put a space in that's big enough for anything you'd ever want because I can guarantee you'll end up using up the space. Then what you can do is you can start putting in chests as you need them. As you gather up items, put chests in. You can always rearrange if you need to. You can add chests, you can take chests away, but just make sure you have space for everything you want. I've done this several times, so I kind of know how much space I need and how I divide items up and things like that. So if we walk around the outside edge, you can see that I have small chests all around. The reason I do that is because a lot of things like, uh, for example, blaze rods, you don't need a, a double wide chest for that. I've got six blaze rods and uh, that's pretty much all that's going to be going in there. So I go with the small chest, but if I do need more room, I can always put two chests next to each other like I did with the cobblestone, which I have none in there right now. Actually, I put three together here. Now if we, uh, if we look at the small chest, a lot of you might be saying, well, how did you put little chests next to each other? Well, here's a little trick. You might know it already, but you make each one, uh, each other one, a trap chest. So this would be an ordinary chest, trap chest, ordinary chest, trap chest. You can put those next to each other, whereas you can't put ordinary chests uh, next to each other like this. Now you'll notice also that I used item frames for everything. The big reason I do that is so that I can find things quickly. When you have to read signs, it's a lot slower uh, to find what you're looking for. However, this is a little more expensive. Uh, a lot of people are like, well, I don't want to give up a, a good item to put in the item frame. Well, you can always get it back. All you have to do is break the item frame and you'll get your item back. Uh, I tell, I'll tell you, it is really a big uh, convenience to have the item frames over signs. The crafting itself I do right in the center here. You can see I've got a crafting bench, I've got my brewing stand, I've got my cauldron, I've got a uh, infinite water supply, I've got my garbage can, and then I've got an anvil and I've got another crafting bench down here on the other end so I don't have to run way down to there. Now the whole idea of putting this in the center is I'm close to just about everything I would want to get. It's really quick and easy to go back and forth and grab what I need. If you're wondering what this space is over here, this is actually my potion uh, brewing system. All I need to do is push the button and I get potions. But that's a, that's a whole other story for another video. One of the things I do too is I put in a small smelting station. One of the reasons I do this is that a lot of times you have to smelt small amounts of something and you don't want to have to run to a big smelting setup to do it. Now if I do have a big smelting job, I'll build a, uh, a dedicated smelting station to do that. You'll also see that I put an enchanting room here. The reason being is I consider enchanting almost a part of crafting. If I make a brand new diamond sword, I want to just go and, and enchant it right away. So I don't want to have to be running all over my base to do it. The, uh, the enchanting area doesn't have to be there. The smelting station doesn't have to be there. You don't have to put things in the middle. You don't have to do any of this. But it's some good ideas that you can put to use. Mix and match and find something that definitely works for you. And that's the long and short of a more efficient crafting room. If you have any uh, questions, by all means, leave them in the comments. If you liked what you saw, uh, subscribe. Put a like. Leave a nice comment. If you didn't like what you saw, just keep that to yourself. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.